Hi guys! So today we have our third project for Galentine's um, gifts. This project, I kind I saw something similar and I just did my own thing. Uh, the measurements, they they vary. You could do however you want it. Uh, I would show you what I did with these. They're similar measurements, at least the the base is, and then you guys get to do the rest. Your own way. Okay. So to do this, you're gonna need a, ho a whole sheet of a 12 by 12 sheet of um, scrapbook paper. Should be easy. It should be simple. It's perfect for all those sheets that you don't use. And remember that if it's double sided, it's perfect. You don't have that much. But if it's one sided, uh, the pattern should be outside. Well. Yeah, because then you get to decorate the inside. So it opens like that. It opens this way. And there's a little pocket right there. This opens this way. That way. There's a little band. And I added some goodies there. Then it opens down. There's some goodies in there. Well, not yet. I have to figure out what I want. And then there's goodies in here. And then you just add all the details. So I'm going to show you how I did it. You don't need any special tools, but I did use some special tools to make it faster. But if you don't have those tools, it's good, and I'm gonna show you how I did it today. I'll show you what tools I use and what which, which ones, um, and what you could do instead of using those tools. So let's start. Your first thing. So if you're gonna do it with me and follow along, um, you get to. It should be easy. So you get, you need to go find a piece of paper, a piece of 12 by 12 paper. I'm gonna be using this, using this simple stories um, pack, and it's easy because it already has cut apart like project life supplies that you could use for decorating. So you go and find a pattern, and I recommend a pattern that doesn't matter which way it's facing. Oh look, that. That way when you fold it won't look odd because some patterns will look a little bit odd depending on where it's lazy and I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one the other two I made were very dull not dull but like air blocks yeah this one I haven't finished it but there's the idea I, I'm still gonna decorate a few things but I stay with solids because there's so much pattern See, and right here, I did it differently. This part right here, I made a little crease right here so it could be fatter and you could put more stuff in there. This one, I didn't do that. And I'm thinking I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like that. But if you leave it like this, and it doesn't matter which way you fold it. When you put it right here, you're going to have all that. You can see all that, but you're going to close this, so it's fine. For this one, if you put this right here and you close it, it gives you kind of a little, it covers a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so what I'm using <laughs> is my, I guess this is the only thing I would need. You could do it with just the ruler and measure things out, but I'm going to use this. And then... You need something to score to make the creases. And what I did, I use uh, if I could find it. Where'd it go? Oh, a paintbrush. The end of a paintbrush. You could use anything that's pointy but not sharp because you don't want it to rip the paper. Okay. So we know the 12 by 12. We're gonna. The first part is dividing them in three in three sections. So that means that you're gonna uh, make creases on four and eight. What I do right here is go to four and then see where it's supposed to cut I just go with my my um, paintbrush and go all the way across then move it four inches again and do that again oops I dropped the paintbrush so yeah you're gonna do that and now you have it in three sections now the other part is the one that's a little bit more complicated. And again, it depends on how you want to do it. 
So what I did with this one, and it also depends how big you want this and how small or big you want this little thing. So what I did with this, well, what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to crease it at one and a half. Try to make sure it's lined up. But you, yeah, I forgot. You're gonna flip it over so you're doing it the other side. One and a half. And we're gonna crease it. And then I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it at half an inch. No, three quarters, no, three quarters, three eighths. Three eighths of an inch. Or however thick you want your, this to be. And mine says three eighths. And this one's, some of these don't have measurements like too close so you can't figure it out but I think this one will be three three eighths so I move it there and then you could also see right here because half to that one is three eighths so we're gonna do that or you could actually use your ruler mark them and then make use your ruler vertically and crease it so that's up to you it's whatever you have so we're gonna where was I all right here now we're gonna crease it. Now from this crease, crease to the next one, it's gonna be four inches. So you're gonna move this all the way to four inches. And you're gonna crease it. And from this crease to the other one, again, four inches. Nope, it's not four inches. Is, let's go back. This part we have to do See, but here we have that crease. This one has to be this one right here on the bottom. So you're gonna move it three eighths. Not yet, yeah, three eighths. And you're gonna crease it. Now we're gonna do the four inches. So what I do is just follow the last crease, move that crease to where I want to. Because if you don't have a cutting tool or something that goes further, then you can't be measuring all the measurements. So we're gonna go to four. And we're gonna crease it. And, oops. There we go. And I'm not going to do that little crease. I'm not going to do this crease right here. I'm just gonna leave it plain like that one. Okay. Now, move your cutting or your measuring stuff. So now it looks, there's three creases like this. There's one, two where the top part of like the little envelope looking thing is where the bottom and then that's that inside. So what you're gonna do is just crease them. And crease at all, all the things you made. And they might not be perfect, just try your best. Then you're gonna crease it one more time. There. Then two more times up here. And I didn't measure these ahead of time. This one's gonna be different than the other one. The only thing I focus is that this one and this one have to be four inches and then this be the width whatever and then the remaining part is basically what you have left over. So for this one, since this were one of those little I don't know, sides, then I know that's gonna be the closing flap. That's gonna be the one that's right here. Isn't, well, that one's the one that's gonna close regularly. This is the one that's going to be more bulky right here, and this is gonna be the bottom. Okay, now you're gonna also fold it, crease it this way, and crease it that way. So we have that. Okay, now. You're gonna cut a few parts off. So, this is the top part and the bottom one, and I don't think you can see the, the whole thing. Maybe, yeah, this is the bottom, that's the top. So what we're gonna cut is, where's the pen or a pencil? Oh, you should have all this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use a, a highlighter so you can see it. Okay, so you're gonna cut from here and then see how there's this line right here and this line? You're gonna cut right here. 
and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna cover here. That doesn't count. Now on this one, we're gonna keep those three. Now right here, we're gonna cut this thing right here, and on this side, we're gonna cut this thing right there, and then on the bottom, um, you can leave this. You're just going well. You can leave this side or you can leave that side depending on how, what you want or you could just cut it. So right now I'm just going to cut this side. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then once you cut those, we'll be able to fold it. Now the other thing that you could do well, that I did was round the corners. And I just round some corners, not all the corners. But that's up to you. It's whatever you want it to look like. If you have a rounding punch or I don't know what they're called, just punch it, then go for it. Super easy to do it. If you want to do it with your scissors, that you're, that's easy too. Okay. There's that. Now we have one more. And I decided that videos where I could, I kind of work fast, but at the same time um, work with you guys, that way you guys can follow along if you want, are better than all editing my uh, editing a lot of videos. I think that if I do them this way, I could post more videos than editing, because editing takes quite a bit. I don't have, I mean, I have a computer, I just got a computer, well not just, but like, this semester I got a computer, but I haven't figured out the editing part of that computer. Usually when I edit my videos, it's on my phone, so it takes forever. Especially with the tiny screen, trying to measure things and zoom things and cut things and yeah. So my goal is to do these in a not too long time, but clear and I don't have to redo them. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Oh, and then we're gonna cut this side right here. And if you have a smaller paper, you just make it smaller. As long as these two are the same, then you can make as many inside, as long as they're smaller. Okay, so this part right here is so I could make some, like a little pocket on this side. You cut it off, you don't have to. This two are pockets that go across, but I think it looks fine like that. Then this one, they go across too. And on this one, I made my pocket on this side. And then there's the flap on this one. On this one, let's do it the other way. So my pocket, my flip is gonna be here and my pocket's gonna be on this side. So what you're gonna do is just cut it. You could do it slanted, you could do it straight, you could do it zigzag, which if I had those funny scissors, funny, those shaped scissors, that'd be cool, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make it swiggly with my scissors. And it's not perfect, so it doesn't matter. Save your scraps, you're gonna be using those. Okay, now. There it goes, that's what it looks like. Now this one, I am going to, I'm just going to cut it off. You don't need to, you, you, you could save it. Cut it off, then if you, if your tool, trimming tool, just trim it, trim some off. I'm gonna put it to maybe one, one and a quarter. There we go. And then it's gonna go right there. So save that piece. Okay, now you're gonna go back to your pretty pattern paper and you're gonna pick some paper to go on the inside. And I like polka dots. I like, oh, I like this blue one. So we're gonna use that blue one. Um, ooh, those flowers are cute. Those flowers are pretty. Stripes. Huh. Oh, there's pink, and there's that one. So we're gonna use those. 
Okay, so we know that these are four by four because we measure four like this and four like that. In order to make it smaller, if you want to leave a, a, a little border, you'll just cut however big the border you want. If you want the border to be a quarter of an inch, then you could have an inch off. So we're gonna cut this one at three and a half. So I could have, no, let's put it three and a quarter so I don't have a big border. No, three and three quarters. Three and three quarters, there we go. So we have that. We're gonna do a pink one.
So there's our basic thing. And then it's closer. Oh, I'm supposed to go this first. There. There. You know what, guys? I made a mistake. Can you guys guess what my mistake was? This little section right here. So it could close like that. No. So we're gonna fix it. So what you're going to do is grab your ruler. You know what to do with the ruler. You grab your ruler. You're gonna measure. What is it called? This one. Three eighths. I rush things. Three eighths right here and three eighths. Make sure you're at the right six. So if I'm if you line it up right there, line it up right there, not in the middle of the tree. Okay. And then the same thing on this side. Three eighths. Three eighths. So I was supposed to make a crease there. So what I'm gonna do, and I hope I don't destroy this. I'm gonna cut really lightly to cut the pink paper off. So we're gonna go a little bit inwards of the pink paper and lightly cut. Uh oh. Come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> My bad. I'm gonna have to redo this. It's gonna look messy, but I want you guys to know that that's what we're supposed to put. Now we could take off the sticky part. There we go. And then with your, where's, where's my paintbrush? Somewhere. With your paintbrush, you could go and make your crease. And then fold it in. There we go. There's that crease. And then the same thing on this side. Okay, so now we have those little holes right there. Now it's it'll look <laughs> Like a perfect little envelope. Okay. No wonder I was like, these shouldn't be the same size. They should, these should be smaller than that. Okay. Back to this. I am gonna round the top, the, the not lid, what is it called? The flap. And my rounding is not that great, so oh well. And there we go. And guys, this is just a trial, maybe. And there we go, we have a little thing. And then this flap is a bit bigger, which I wanted to do it because I thought these were too small. That way I could even add a little Velcro to hold it down. Now, if you guys want to continue watching, then you can watch the fun decorating part. If not, you can start right here. We go back and try to do your own. Okay, so for the decorating, I'm going to go back to my Simple Stories paper pad. I'm going to find one of those cut aparts and I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna take this one. And I thought I had more of those Project Live card size. Oh, I'm gonna take this one because there's a lot of little cut aparts. And then, I don't know, that's fine. Oh, I'm pulling everything. Okay. 
So, we're gonna start decorating from the top down. <laughs> 